Let's say this whiteboard here represents all of the world's population. And uh, within that world's population, we're going to draw a circle representing all the people that have all various forms of floaters. Okay? Some people are going to have floaters. I don't know if that's a big circle. I don't know if that's a small circle. If it should be a smaller circle, if it should be. I don't know. A lot of people have floaters. Now, given enough of population, there's going to be a group of people that may have uh, some tendency towards a little anxiety and depression. That's kind of their baseline. They may have a tendency toward that. It's not a judgment. You know, given enough of a population, we all come in different flavors. We all have different baggage. We all have different coping skills. And, you know, uh, health anxiety seems to be pretty common these days. A lot of people mention that. So that's some people that have that. And then maybe overlapping that, there's some people that have some even, you know, more sort of compulsive obsessive compulsive disorder, they might have some of that too, where you know they tend to really get focused on things. Uh, I don't know where ADHD or something might kind of fit in that. I think that people who have sort of baseline characteristics like this may tend to really focus on that physical thing. These are more vague. These are hard to measure. Everybody's all got a little this and got a little that and has good days and bad days. But that floater is a physical thing that is there. And so I think that these, uh, this, this loosely defined group of people tend to really focus on that physical thing of the floaters. And so these characteristics just amplify the, you know, I should say, amplify the bothersomeness of those floaters.